Oklahoma! Here live in Dallas, Texas! Texas! The Texas! Here they come! The corporate ministry! Oh, well, one third of it. Ladies and gentlemen, one year in my life, Ron, you're alive in Dallas, Texas. I'm, I'm Zach's here too, and it's only the Reverends, and of course, you know, his pattern was always death defying. No, it's only the Maki. There he is. The game. Triple H. Two members of the Shield, and two members of everything else. There's Triple H. I guess they're requesting some music to just keep playing because it's playing now. It is true. What? Why are performance from here? I have no idea. What? Oh, hell. No, he did not. He did. He did. <laughs> oh, great. The Triple H making everything clear. Of course, you're going to bring back those two assholes. Curtis Axel and Ryback. Well, here we go. Oh, great. <laughs> this is the last person I want to see right now. Me too. Me too. This is here now, so it really doesn't matter. Of course, uh, we're on our way to uh, over the limit. Where everything is going to be over the limit. Of course, uh, Stephanie McMahon in uh, a matchup here tonight here on Monday Night Raw. The Billion Dollar Princess. I've wife with Triple H. You almost said this. Does she have more balls than he does? I have to agree with her. <laughs> she does. Because she could just stand up to somebody and she, she would she'd be able to back it up, you know? I will not deny that, you know, in most cases, um, Stephanie has, has had her little bitchy moments, but all in all, she's still the executive of the WWE. I don't know why I love this. <laughs> she can be the executive of my, kiss my ass. And was she into my sister? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then there's her opponent, Matsuri. Matsuri returning from a uh, almost fatal injury. That thing, that, that she really didn't get up from. Thanks, Lena. <laughs> I blame Lena for this. I don't blame anybody. <laughs> Somebody got hurt. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a weird, weird, weird day. <laughs> oh, my See that awkward silence that just happened between Matsuri and Stephanie. This is Matsuri's test. This is like a. As Lena said, she said this if you can defeat Zephyr McMahon, then I will personally give you my Divas Championship. If not, well, we're just gonna have to try harder. I guess it's. Oh! All part of, her, all part of Lena's lesson. Apparently, it's working. It's, ooh! Surrey's been winning about three of her matches. She's won like five of her matches and all at once. I was got Kaya Koran. We got a Kaya, a Kaya gonna be uh, filling her face on NXT uh, this May. Of course, NXT is gonna start on May immediately, uh, immediately this Saturday. And apparently, it seems that. Apparently, uh, <laughs> you just see this stare down between, between Luxury and, 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 oh! and, 
Stephanie. I mean, this has to be, uh, well, this is a very bad situation that Matsuri is in. Considering that she is in the ring with the WWE executive and, of course, the uh, two-time Divas Champion. Also playing with six-time Divas Champion, oh, excuse me, Women's Champion by defeating uh, Trish Stratus, not once, but twice. I think it was because Trish kind of had the hots for Triple H, and, she, and Stephanie kind of didn't like that. She just said, okay, you're dead! Yeah, she'll get over it. Not from, oh! A miscalculation there. You know, I don't know why everyone thinks that Monster will never make them the WWE. week. I mean, she became the women's champion. She defeated Lena at Unforgiven for the champ for the women's championship and won. By the skin of her teeth. <laughs> it wasn't out of the skin of her teeth. That was oh, what a punch! Right to the face. Uh -oh. Could be time. It could be time. And it is. Beep, beep, oh! What a spear! What a spear! Oh boy, they got a two again by Stephanie. Stephanie McMahon, a very, very talented, ooh, very talented diva. I will say this. She is very talented. Never fails to impress the uh, WWE. Never fails to impress me either. If you think about all the things she's done, oh dear. Oh! Another miscalculation. Jesus, what story? <laughs> Jeez, you're just miscalculating everything. Well, well, she hasn't been in the ring in like God knows how long. Oh my God! Oh, was well, miscalculating that? Baby! Oh, and again, again with that. It's like a deadly, it's like a right hand to your face. What? Oh, what a punch! Right to the face. Super effective. <laughs> hang on, hang on, spear! Oh, and I shook the camera again! Camera two! One, two, three, it's over! Woo! Well, that'd be like win number four. Yeah, it'd be win number four. To this handsome, to this very, oh god, I said handsome, to this beautiful young lady, Matsuri, has done it again! You know, she's got like a lot of hate now, but she's still, she's still, she's still impressing me. Yep. Almost, almost definitely does feel a little bad, but Matsuri, uh, after her uh, match with Layla, I'll smack the dude. This is uh, what happened last Friday night on SmackDown. As you can see Randy Orton came in the ring because of, uh, well, I mean, he blames him saying the only way to get to Gara was to get to Matsuri. And now, ooh, there you see Gara saving Matsuri from a certain danger. Gara will be here later on tonight to address his issue. Oh, good. Oh, God. Are you serious? Oh, there we go, there goes the lumberjack. <laughs> I'm still laughing that you called that. Yes, it it's a lumberjack. There's one half of elegance as Damien Sandow makes his uh, appearance here on Monday Night Raw after their win, after um, after Elegance's surprising win over the country cast. They're sort of a they're sort of a shoe in for the for the tag team titles. And think about this, that was just one win. I mean, lightning can't strike twice. Although it can. It can actually it can strike twice, it can strike twice in the same area. I know, that's what I'm saying. I can't like never mind. <laughs> just forget it. Jeez. I'm, I'm done trying to argue with you people. You get on my nerves. Jeez. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh God, no, please. There he is. Kind of. <laughs> you 
most, he says he calls himself the most elegant and most, uh, I'm not saying the last part, but the most elegant person, the most elegant, uh, uh, uh pure blood in all of history. Of course, his father was, uh, of course, the, uh, world heavyweight champion back in 1992, uh, for his death, about 95, um, <laughs> but the economy sort of rose up and, uh, took his place. He became the world heavyweight champion, became the intercontinental champion, the United States champion. He even, he even uh, lost a little bit of weight to the cruiserweight champion. I thought that was kind of weird, but it was funny. <laughs> funny for the rest of us. He's still a, he, he's still a dick, man. He is. But don't do it, don't do it. Oh, when he did it. He's just so... He's so elegant, it's disgusting. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, the guy, guy's being an idiot. Who, who does that? What? Who do you do? Who's all that, that flailing, the flailing of your arms, and then, you know, all that other crap? Who, who, who does that? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Shut up. What the, what the hell? Oh, this is, well, this is odd. Normally, it would oh. Okay, somebody needs to take a fuck. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a thing of gas and a mess and apparently they're ready to do battle today. Of course, Kaz, the uh, United States champion, and of course, Megan, the intercontinental champion. Jeez, there are champions everywhere. There's a WWE champion, a Hollywood champion, a tag team champion, oh my god. It's gonna be a weird night. I can already tell. Yeah, no, it's, it's like a. It's like it's gonna be one of those nights where everybody's a bunch of weirdos. I thought that was like all the time. Not necessarily. <laughs> and it was moving along with this tag team match. <laughs> with Elegance taking on Betty Yuga and. And, uh. And Jacob Cass. For Zero, ooh, after his match with, uh, uh, Conor May, we've not, we have heard from Zero, he said that he, he's, uh, he's returning to Monday Night Raw, uh, this May, of course, uh, next month, when we start our Over the Limit Fever. Yeah, everyone wants a shot of the tag team titles, because we're going to have a number one contenders match, uh, on that night, and of course, ooh, and of course, a very special thing is, is for newcomers who want to be a part of the corporate ministry. For those who want to be a part of the corporate ministry, be prepared to be get your get your butt handed to you by the NWO. Ooh. Ooh. If you think about it, Conan and, and Damian Sandow, they worked very well together. I, I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I, I have to agree with Southman on this one. They're, they actually, they, they can actually work, they actually do work together. It's almost scary. <laughs> it's like, it's like two elements. It's like two elements that were, it's like they were made for each other. It was Jacob Cass, the, the son of his late father, uh, who, who was a wrestler back in the 80s, who was the first man, who was, who fought, who fought alongside, um, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan! <laughs> and of course, it was Jacob Cass, a, not a slow individual, very fast, very brash, knows how to work with his hands, of course, him and Nagi style. Uh, like I said, cheers him on, in, cheers him on every every night, every time he goes into a match against somebody that he, somebody that uh, he's never faced before. You know, what the? Oh! Oof. Oof. I swear, I could I could feel a load of energy flowing in Kaname, and it's not good. Kaname and Zero, they they've been at it for years. The Kuron, the Kuron family and the Kuryu family. Oh my God! 
They've been at it for a quarter of a century. Oh God, what a nice move by Cass. Whereas the, the Kuron family and the Kuryu family, they've been at it for years. It's like it's like the it's like the Uchiha versus Uzumaki war that 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 lasted for almost like three whole years. That got bloody. Like it, as soon as the, as soon as like invasion happened. Oh God! And my and my grandfather defeated. Um, Maru Uchiha, whom we haven't seen in like over a year. Nobody knows what happened to him, although some people some people start to say that he's uh, there's a everybody says there's a possibility that he could return to the WWE. Nobody knows. I don't think nobody wants to know. <laughs> in my opinion. Uh oh, here comes the elbow, here comes the elbow of disdain. Oh that's disdain alright. Oh, hang on, hang on, stand now with your welcome. Oh. Stand now with your welcome, and that should be it. Three now. Kick out a two by Neji. That was close. I was actually kind of scared. I was scared. Oh, oh crap, Neji's out. <laughs> But yes, we haven't seen the likes of, of course, uh, Sukune. Sukune hasn't been in the release since uh, since 2012. Ever since he ever since he got that very bad a very bad uh, pectoral muscle, he had to get surgery on that bone. And uh, apparently, and they say he should be back, and he should be back this month. Ooh! He should be back in May, in time of, in time for uh, for uh, uh oh, oh boy, Jacob Cass, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it! Hang on, hang on! Oh! Dream Street! Well, dreams. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what it's called. And yeah, check out. Mm. Really effective. I guess he's gonna change it. And Jacob Cass, a very, very talented, but very, not very brash. Uh, he says he doesn't really like being brash. He says that just that's just a waste of his time. Look at that. Nice run, nice spinning, nice send time by Jacob Cass. Now, hold on. Ooh! What's stand out that one? Wait a minute. Oh my god! Oh! He's right on the money. <laughs> Right on the money. Ooh. I know that was just painful. Ooh. Somebody's head on your on your spine. Ouch. Trust me, I've been hit with so many of those. Thanks. Thank I've been hit with so many of those. It's not funny. That's true. Ooh. That is true. You have been hit with something with things like that. Yeah. Wasn't good. Well yeah, did you hit me did you hit me with her back? Ooh. Well, not her back, but you get the point. Yeah. She hit you with something. Oh! And a nice counter. But, oh, and a little reversal. God. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Oh! Ouch! Wait a minute. Go on, try! Oh! Cast it down! Oh jeez! I feel like this match is more of like the match that we had on SmackDown with the Country Cats and Elegance. None of them would just let. None of them let up. It was weird. Those were facing off against two of the, two of the craziest teams that I've seen in my life. This match has been a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, these two and these two teams haven't stopped. I mean, look, they're winning it. Damien wants to end this match right here, here and now. Oh, but he's gonna have to do more damage to. Uh oh. Neji! Oh! Mm. Well, that failed. Epic fail. <laughs> Shut up. Drop it off. Oh! Like an epic fail. Fail. 
You're fail at life. Sure. Yeah, Debbie and Sam now. Oh. Jeez. That's sand now. We're gonna stop this whole situation. Oh god, how? I'm gonna oh. as he as he one step ahead on one step ahead on this. Oh my god, no! He missed! He missed! Oh yeah, he's gonna be better than this! Oh! No no the stay! Uh oh! Here it comes! You're welcome! Ow! Ow! You're welcome! Two! Three! It's over! It's finally over! Elegance defeats! Elegance defeats the man! I really am starting to hate that song! <laughs> oh man! Anyway, Elegance defeats Neji and Tass, but I got a feeling something bad's not gonna happen. Well, not now, but yeah. And <laughs> That's too funny. What? I see they really starting to hate that song. Because it sucks! Who picks a song like that? It's Kane and Sandow. Right after his match, really. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> he is not stronger than The Undertaker. Really? <laughs> Kane, you need to stop that. Oh, boy. This is what I thought this, week, this couldn't get any worse. I guess it did. This is more worse than Kane. So like every time King comes to the ring, I, I get a I get a feeling someone's gonna get hurt badly. Don't worry. I don't think anybody I don't think anybody he knows is gonna get hurt tonight. God. How much does he weigh? Like around 300 pounds. Oh my God. He's like a, he's like a big, he's like a giant version of himself. It's weird. <laughs> Shut up. That's what he is, but... Oh, boy. What in the blue, what in the fresh hell is this? Could it be? It is! It's the dead man! What's he doing here? I have no... Oh, really? He's got his own... He's got his own... He's got his own nameplate, really? <laughs> the Undertaker... The Undertaker has arrived! Oh my gosh... It's like the entire lock, the entire arena just lit up. Yeah, excitement. I almost like to see Nick for a second doing the music. I was like, oh crap. That was, that was like a twin, trust me. <laughs> he's long gone. I feel like this is entrance like a broken video. There's a lot of things going on in his mind. I love those spikes. They look awesome. They look awesome. Um, um, right. God, it's like the... Jeez! This guy is... You want to talk about dark? He's the definition of dark. <laughs> Uh, 
I swear, I, I think I think I, I got goosebumps now. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking into the eyes of two brothers. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We're actually gonna have this match between these two monsters. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually having this match. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god. I came with these fast punches to his brother, the Undertaker. The Undertaker came back after about a year of absence. Oh my gosh. It has been so long since we've seen the dead man. And he looks amazing. He looks, he looks ready to fight. Excuse me. Say, you got a relationship with that guy? Shut up. Undertaker just waiting for his brother to get up. Holy crap! Oh! Okay, can't ruin it, so you can go and see it. <laughs> now, nice drop, nice drop toe hold by the dead man himself, the Undertaker. Oh! Does anyone notice that Undertaker is. He's, he's very, uh, he looks, he looks so, he's so focused. Like, it's like nothing else matters except hurting his brother Kane. Throughout the years of Kane's, uh, torment on the WWE Superstars and the Divas, if, uh, if, uh, I really wish you would have loved it. It was like a freaking ass. Especially was towards your wife? Yep. <laughs> Yes, the dead man, the Undertaker, has returned on this, on this night of... Holy crap, Baskets! This is a move I haven't seen in a while. I got it! Oh, last line! The last line! Oh, what the... Oh, no! Oh, no! He can't be thinking! No, he... No, he can't be thinking. Oh dear lord. Hey, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. The dead man's dying. He just flew like three feet in the air. <laughs> oh my god. Kane's out. The Undertaker just flew three feet in the air. That was like five. But dang! He really wants to hurt him. <laughs> he did the dead man's dive. Yes, oh, yeah, and the match is WrestleMania. The dead man's dive. Wow. Incredible. He did a suicide dive to the top rope. How many people can say that they did that? Well, I can tell you this, he did that to case. <laughs> He <laughs> did that to Kane. <laughs> did that to Kane, so Kane don't get no shit. <laughs> I gotta take her. Oh! Impressive move by the dead man. What you want? You want to talk about power? This man's the definition of it. Oh dear. Oh god. Here it comes. Last one. The last one by the dead man. Uh oh. It could be time! 99 Kane! Oh yeah! Boom! Tombstone Bio Driver! It could be it! Two! Three! It's it! It's over! It's all over! Wow! The Undertaker! Has done it! Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is that dead man's die. I can't get over that. That was crazy. I've never seen a man jump that high from the, from the top rope. It just goes to show you, never mess with never never mess with the dead man. Otherwise you'll get hurt. Like Kane was. Oh god. Undertaker. Oh my god, no! That's why they're right back in. Stand down! Oh my god, no! 
Oh my gosh! Oh. What the? You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! What the? What the deuce? This right now, but um, Randy Orton has to be the craziest man I have ever seen in my life. After what he did to go on on SmackDown, I'm actually surprised that Lena didn't Lena didn't Lena kind of thinks that oh, it was just a friendly contest. That wasn't a friendly contest. He was really mad. He's just mad himself. It's his fault. It's his fault that Spirit is still the WWE champion. Man, if Randy only wants to fight him, he's gonna have to work for it. He should have. He's gonna have to start back from square one. Like he should have done. He should have done like like years ago. Let's try. Oh boo hoo. He didn't, he didn't cost you your championship. Man, yeah, now we're probably going to stick to his side. Just, you know. Oh, come on, Randy, really? Mm. Wait, that, that's not Gar's music. No, it's not. That's, that's Soul. What's Soul doing out here? I guess he's here to address Randy right now, because... Oh, man. I'm actually kind of surprised Soul's out of here. Me, me too. I'm, I'm kind of also scared. Because uh, Randy sort of has uh, on hothead mode right now. Set him off. He's going to go crazy. No, not the ring bell. I'm fighting here on the outside here in the Ooh, oh my god. Right here outside. Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually happening. I, I, I'm I'm frighteningly scared and also appalled. Got the ring bell. Oh, no, no. oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Randy Orton, oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm again with that bell! Oh no, Randy! No, come on! This is this is this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. 
Oh, he's gonna ring his bell again! Randy, please stop this. Oh no, Randy, no. No, Randy. No, don't do this! Oh my god! 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 I can't believe. I'm still surprised Soul's still standing after that. Oh my, oh my god! Oh no, 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 come on, no, Randy, don't do this. Don't do this, Randy, don't do it. Oh my god, I'm a I know a KO! No way! Oh my god. Oh my god, no. One. Oh my god. I think Soul's bleeding. I, I, I don't even know if he's bleeding on his part of his pants right now. Oh my god. Who's with that RKO? That was it. Oh my god. I think someone's really hurt. I mean, Triple H planned plan that. I, I kind of have to agree with you, Mark, but I think you do. Randy, what's become of you? I know you're angry, but... Randy Orton again with that devastating move, and I can't imagine the... You've got to be kidding me. No. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it from the moment this started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'd uh, like to inform you that Soul um, suffered a minor injury because of the ring ball. As a uh, suffered a concussion at the hands of Randy Orton. And, uh, he'll be back, uh, possibly in about two weeks. This, but, um, but, other than that, uh, he's, he's gonna be fine. He's okay. His injuries aren't really bad, but they're not good either. Yeah. But right now, it's just me and Naruto here at ringside. But Stephanie McMahon has made her appearance here tonight, where she is going to give Kate's performance review here in the world. I'm surprised Stephanie will with her entrance. I guess she's probably a tattoo on her right now. She will. In about a week. <laughs> uh, anyway, there you can see Kate and Stephanie. This is a performance review. Stephanie's gonna try and act the freshman as positive when she hates Kate right now. Oh, of course not. That's true, she's kind of been inactive for a while. Yeah, something happened. Oh, boy. Yes! I knew it! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Raw.